When it comes to inclusiveness, Glide has long served as a haven for people across the spectrum of sexuality. And that legacy continues with its new leader who has some historic shoes to fill. Fill the air at Glide Memorial Church Sunday mornings as Reverend Marvin White takes the stage with his inclusive sermons. He's continuing his beloved predecessor Cecil Williams' message of welcoming with unconditional love, but doing it with his own twist. Always say you're not Cecil or you're the next Cecil, you know, and I went to Cecil and I was like, what do I do with this? And he's like, he said, you have to be you. One of his first acts as the new leader of Glide, he chose to hoist the pride flag directly outside of the sanctuary, a first for the historic congregation in the heart of San Francisco's Tenderloin. I guess the other part of being gay is that I have been on a campaign to to make sure that beauty and aesthetics are a part of unconditional love and how we serve community. If we don't have a building that people are proud of, then we won't be the community anchor that people need. And he's doing just that through the lens of his upbringing as a member of a religion that he knew couldn't accept him for being gay, but with a longing for a spiritual home. From being a Jehovah's Witness to just staying away from church to chasing boys into their churches and being told not to stay in those churches because my freedom would put their freedom at risk. All of that was created so I would never come into my power as a black, queer, prophetic, you know, believer who has access of a particular kind of access to the divine. He applies that story to his practice, using himself as an example of why the church should welcome with unconditional love. When the church runs out gay people, they're saying you will be too powerful and I can never have you get close to your power. And we believed it wholesale. And we, you know, when they ran us out, we didn't come back. What an amazing thing would be if this world could benefit from queer folks coming back into their spiritual power. His journey to Glide is as unpredictable yet thoughtful as his outfit choice for his Sunday sermon, but one that can only conclude with fate. When I was 18, I came to Glide and I didn't understand it. I was like, what is all of this? You know, there are black people, white people, straight people, gay people, people are saving seats like they're at Stern Grove. What is even, ha I did not get it. 40 years later, with White in the pulpit, that scene remains hand in hand. So I just have to step into it, not on top of it or over it. Um, I don't need to make my mark or overwrite anything. I just need to step into it, and that's what I'm doing. Spreading his predecessor's message of unconditional love when he searched for himself and breaking molds to show others that they are welcome just as they are. Oh!